So this is our Ascent uh, 260 2-in-1 stand-on and sit-down mower. So it's an industry first. It's only possible with an electric product. So uh, right now the mower is in the stand-on position. Right, pushing the stand-on controls, foot pan. Um, you have your PTO switch, you can switch all the other positions you integrate with. These will translate with the controls up and down. So we start, start with the ROPS. So the ROPS is actually just these two levers. There's no more pins, no more clunky hardware. Or then you can just pivot up. It snaps into place. And then we gotta move the controls down. So these slide one. Ready to mow in a seated position. That is so cool. As, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you have your controls here. They pivot it down so you can turn your mower on and off. You can lift, lift and lower and raise your deck electronically. You change your ground speed and your blade speed. And then you have a screen here uh, giving you a battery percentage, a load meter, um, and other vital electric products. So, what's the benefits of running it as a standard versus running it as a uh, uh, zero turn. Yeah, so different properties and different landscapers want to use different units. So many landscapers, when they're cutting wide open fields, they prefer to sit down. Um, and then when you have hilly terrain, you have a terrain with a lot of obstacles, trees, soccer balls, whatever, you're getting on and off your unit a lot, they prefer to stand on. So when we were getting real world feedback from landscapers, they said that they actually either bring two units and switch them out for what property they're on, or they go back to the shop to swap units for the afternoon so they can sit. Yeah. So we gave the best of both worlds, two and one. Again, only possible with electrification because when the engine was, it's now where you sit. Oh, right. Right? And then you don't have belts and pulleys and hydros anymore. You know, you've got electric motors and you got batteries. So um, we have a fully swappable battery system. So we use five. 3.2 kilowatt hour batteries, which you can just see in a second, and, um, and that enables all day runtime. So you get flexibility for people that need to cut four hours, five hours, six hours. You can swap as many batteries as you need in and out wow. to give you that all day runtime. That's amazing. Now, does the uh, operator platform in the back, does that kick up? Or does it stay down? It's, it's down now, but there is a sensor in it to prevent anyone uh, getting a little ride on the back. So is it able to fold up or no? Curious. No, it is not. Oh, okay. <laughs> not on this model. Okay. I would have to check on that one. Okay. Awesome. So I will. I'm gonna bring this back up.